Hey babes, it's your Cozy Lefty here and today I'm back with the all new fragrance review. Today's review is going to be on the one and only Maison Francis Kirkajans Baccarat Rouge 540 and I'm here to tell you why it's so damn expensive and I'm also here to tell you why you need it in your fragrance collection. If you are interested in seeing some really frugal, inexpensive dupes for this very popular fragrance, keep watching and if you're here to hear my honest opinion on this fragrance, still stay tuned and keep watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let's start our fragrance review. Okay, so first I would like to say that this $300 fragrance is actually one of the fragrances that I feel like you need for all year round. This fragrance smells so good and honestly you will not be disappointed with the projection with how long it lasts through the day. Now you guys know I work in a medical field and so usually I have my mask on all day and when I spray my fragrances I like to smell them through my mask. I don't like to have to overspray, especially with a $300 fragrance like this. Now Baccarat is one of the most talked about fragrances on the market and honestly I kind of had like my doubts about it because I know there's a lot of hyped up fragrances out there but I'm not one to waste my money because I'm not I don't have time to go to the store and turn it and this fragrance here is not found at all retailers so you can find it online at Maison Francis Kirkajan's website but you can also um find it at Saks you can also find it at Bergdorf Goodman and you can also find it at Nordstrom's a little bit of a background about this fragrance is it's unisex and it launched in 2015. This fragrance has warm, spicy, amber, woody notes and you get a lot of a sultry feel when you smell this. A lot of people classify it as a fragrance that smells very expensive and luxurious but honestly I get cozy vibes. I do get upscale, expensive, luxurious vibes but nonetheless this fragrance to me is just the perfect everyday fragrance. Now it is kind of intimidating saying that because it is so expensive but I say it's good for every day because it's not overpowering it's not very strong but it lasts all day and you can smell it even when you walk past the one the notes in this are saffron jasmine and brat and just very much those warm cozy notes now the perfumer Maison Francis Kirkajan has words on other fragrances like um Burberry Her and many more that are really top tier and a lot of people put respect on the name honey so the price definitely you're paying for the name you're paying for how heavy and durable this like packaging is it's very luxurious and weighty it is a small bottle but it feels so luxurious and I kind of had to like tell myself to stop using it because I saw myself wanting to use it almost every single day and there's like literally no need where I work like behind the desk why am I wearing this expensive fragrance every single day? Like, it's unacceptable. <laughs> but it smells really good. Now, you guys know I'm not afraid to put on my KKW, but there's literally no comparison here. This smells like nothing that I have in my collection besides the dupes I'm going to show you. And honestly, even there, there's still no comparison completely and reassuringly that I can tell you, yeah, you can buy this and you will be just as satisfied as buying the real deal. You guys need to take the chance to go out and get this. It is definitely worth it. I know that if you're watching this video nine times out of ten, you're already like this close to purchasing it. So if this video is what you need to take that leap forward, do so. You're not going to regret it. And you guys know I'm not afraid to keep it real, but this fragrance smells really good. And it's something that I can see myself wearing every day and it's my signature scent. Now, I know a lot of people are iffy about this because it's so hyped up that they're like, oh, I don't want to smell like everyone. But you would be kind of silly not to go get this fragrance because of that reason. It smells really good. Like there's no need to downplay it. I can definitely see it some, being something that can be a crossover in the household, kind of like a Tom Ford Metallique or like a Tom Ford Soleil, uh, Blanc. You know, those fragrances right there are very unisex and uh, very much um, transparent in the household as a woman and men scent that can be very versatile. So if you guys are looking for something that you can share in your household, this is another one. Um, I like that because this has that saffron and that jasmine and those amberette smoky kind of notes. It does cling to the skin and make you feel like so sensual and just very confident. So I believe that this fragrance is expensive because it genuinely smells good. And Maison Francis Kirkajan knows that if this smells good attached to the name, that people are just going to buy it. Like it doesn't matter how much it is. People are going to buy it. It's going to um, sell. And it's one of those cold classics that 
people are going to repurchase and repurchase and in a business that's how you stick around is with those customers that are going to be loyal and repurchase your products over and over again and not get sick of it and i definitely think this is a household fragrance that you need for all year round spring summer winter fall everything you need this fragrance and it's very unique but in every season, it has its purpose. You can mix and match it, but this stands alone on its own and it's a groundbreaking scent that I really do appreciate and I feel like you guys need. Not often am I gonna tell you guys to really break the bank, but this is definitely worth it. And now let's talk about dupes. So with dupes, I know that they're not always gonna be super specific or super spot on, but they're very similar. And for me, the most similar to this perfume is going to be the Ult Fragrances Crystal Parfum. So this is the Gold Edition. And with the Gold Edition, this is supposed to be the spot on uh, fragrance that smells just like Baccarat. And I can honestly say it does smell just like the Baccarat Rouge 540. It's gonna give you the same luxurious feel with the way it lasts on the skin. This kind of, for me, it gets a little bit too musky and it doesn't soften on the skin and project and kind of melt into your skin the way Baccarat does. But it is very similar and this is gonna be the closest dupe you're gonna find on the market that is very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, so if you cannot afford this, you're better off getting this and getting the same feel. But again, this is way more luxurious. Like, I'm going to show you guys how the gold crystal perfume sprays. It's just very harsh. It compares nothing to the sprayer on the Baccarat perfume. And for me, this kind of has that like artificial feel to it. Whereas this, again, it just kind of has like a sweet finish on my skin. It sprays so effortlessly and delicately it's just like a beautiful atomizer that is more of that like aroma kind of spray where it doesn't spray so harshly on you like it's just a thorough and light and very airy this fragrance smells so good and it has that sweet dry down that complements the smokiness of the saffron in there and the amberette. So I definitely recommend this. I have another dupe for you guys that's not spot on. It's a little bit sweeter than Baccarat Rouge 540. This fragrance right here is called by Ariana Grande. Now we all know and love Ariana Grande for her sweet persona. And this fragrance took me by surprise. This honestly, I've used a lot of it. I've worn it to death when I used to work in retail and honestly when I wore people would be like what are you wearing you know sometimes they would even think I'm wearing Baccarat and that was way before I've even tried Baccarat but because I saw that it was such a you know affordable dupe I did purchase it on a whim without smelling it prior and honestly this to me is a lot sweeter than Baccarat this has a marshmallow dry down where it just smells like cupcakes and fun on your skin but it does have that kind of benzoin finish to it so it kind of smells like Baccarat wrap and not really like it's a little bit sweeter now with this it has more of those violet um, marshmallow almondy creamy notes it honestly all depends on what you prefer so if you're that person that likes something more feminine and more creamy and you know more cupcake marshmallow vibes um this is definitely going to be for you and if you want that unisex feel of the original Baccarat Rouge 540 that is a little bit more spot on a little bit more musky then I would definitely go for the gold edition from Ult Fragrances but again nothing is like the original Baccarat Rouge 540 I highly recommend that you guys go out and try it see if you can get a sample um or take it on the whim and purchase it they do have a size down from this that retails for 150 dollars but again you might as well just spend 300 because this one is uh providing you with literally over double the amount whereas that one is just like i believe like one ounce this perfume lasts on my skin it just gives me those luxurious vibes like i said and honestly i see why a lot of people go crazy over it um honestly let me show you the details i'm sorry for the fingerprints everywhere but this is the detailing and i'm obsessed i love it um i wanted to make this video because i know a lot of people are hesitant about purchasing it as i was myself it isn't easy just spending all this money during the pandemic whether you're working or not whether you can afford it or not it is definitely a chance that you're taking just blind buying gate off of people's opinion but i tell you guys and i reassure you 
I purchased everything with my own money and I wouldn't lie to you. I definitely think it is worth it. So if you have to give up your coins, definitely do so for this. It is worth trying out. And if there's one fragrance on the market that you need right now, this is one of them. And I highly recommend it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.